Since the absolute value is solved for in this problem, we can go ahead and separate this into two separate inequalities. The thing that's important here is that since it's less than or equal to, it's an AND statement. That's going to be important in understanding the solution to this problem. Now in both inequalities, we're going to solve for y. On the left hand side we get y is greater than or equal to 0. And on the right hand side we're going to get y is less than or equal to 0. Since it's an AND statement, that's going to be an intersection of the two solution sets. And that's going to result in just y equal to 0.